Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500. I mean, welcome back to Love a Beamer. Welcome to the channel and welcome to day three on the Beamer. Parts have started to arrive now. We've got pretty much everything now, I think. And we need to start getting it put back together. Let's get the radiator in, condenser on, fan in. We've even got that thing, fan assembly thing, which should be fun. Let's get on with it. Day three. Let's do it. Let's go. come all the way from Germany so it's what was it about 170 or something pound and then I've had to pay another another 48 pound so I think it's a genuine one um, it might not be it might be an aftermarket I don't really care as long as it's the right one um, with the picture it had the electrical connection and it was the exact part number so it's got to be right so if it isn't I don't know what I'm gonna do go to BMW probably and pay the full whack um, right, okay, let, let's get this unwrapped. Uh, we'll get this bumper off, which has been sitting here temporarily. I should have actually put the other headlight on. I wasn't sure whether I needed to take the headlight off again when I do the radiator and what have you, which I don't. Um, anyone know what that thing is? I'm gonna, I did ask someone, and they've got it on their car, and they don't know what it is either. Now, when I, I looked at the part number, it said something to do with that. So I'm wondering if it goes underneath there. I don't know. I don't really see the purpose of it. Very bizarre but anyway i don't care let's i'm so desperate to get this moved into the middle of the drive and be able to give it a good clean it's, it's not had a clean since before i got it and as you can see look it's covered in cobwebs it's a layer of dust it's just disgusting it cost me 11 bleeding grand this car and i've not even washed it yet <sighs> i didn't want i just didn't want to start it with no radiator on it so let's stop talking let's get this bumper off Chuck it out the back, not chuck, place it carefully in the back garden. So you've got one grill on, not the other one, because I'm going to try and push out that little dent. Um, but let's get the damn thing running. So, yeah, let's, let's get the bumper off, open the radiator and make sure it's the right one. Right, it does appear to be the right one. However, on here, we've got this electrical connection on here we've got a hole where it looks like the electrical bit goes so that that electrical bit must be something that pushes in so I'm gonna to have to try and get it out somehow because <clears throat> I thought it was just gonna come with it so but it is the right one apart, apart from that it's exactly the same let's measure the width of it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll say it is the, it's the right it's the same uh, part number, so it must be the same, mustn't it? But I thought that was going to be with it. Just hope I can get that out. I'm assuming, hopefully, we can push down on some tabs somewhere and somehow it will come out. <sighs> if not, it'll have to be uh, something else I'll have to buy separate. But at least I can get it in and plumbed in. That's the main thing. So uh, I'll set you up. Uh, we'll. I'm not sure whether I've got to take that off or not. I don't think I have. But I'm not sure. The fan obviously got to go in first. And then the radiator fits to the fan, doesn't it? It's, the trouble is, it's a while since I've done this now and I can't remember. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's set you up. All right, so. Let's just get something to kneel on. So the radiator, bear in mind I haven't put that sensor in yet. So that obviously does just push in. Now, I, I, I do remember with a radiator, I'm just, before I do that, I'm gonna clean that area up there. So this is, I've plugged this in. Um, I've put it, it's, it's pushed in into position onto those pegs where it's meant to go. Oh, shit. Uh, we'll worry about all these wires afterwards. So we've got the hoses there. I'm quite sure where they go. Um, yeah not sort of where they go I know where they go I mean how they how they're rooted uh, and then we I remember there were two bolts at the underneath which I need to find I've got those in a in an envelope I think 
Uh, let me just grab all the bits out of the boot. I, actually, I need the keys. I haven't even got the keys. Let me go grab the keys, get the bits I need out of the boot, and then we'll try and get this uh, plumbed in and wired up. Right, I couldn't unfortunately include everything that I wanted to, because it just would have gone on and on and on, because I have had an absolute struggle trying to remember and figuring out how the hell this thing went back together. I couldn't get the pipes on, I finally did. Um, I couldn't get the damn thing to be in the right place. Um, and I couldn't figure out how, it did, did, I didn't know whether this connected at the front, at the side. I finally realized that it's these pegs. Now these pegs, I imagine, push through the hole in the, in the top panel. So I'm still not sure at this point whether the top panel goes on um, or whether we need to get, uh, the condenser obviously goes on next. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not sure whether we need to get um, the fan assembly on before we do get the top bit on. I haven't got a Scooby, <laughs> I nearly swore, because of course that was destroyed, wasn't it? So we couldn't get that off initially because we had the bent bar. I finally got it in and got it in position and got both connections on. I managed to get that sensor out. It did just uh, push in with tabs. So I'm so glad I didn't get rid of it. This is why, folks, never get rid of anything until you're finished it might be something that you need to take off and i didn't know that that wasn't part of this new radiator so i'm so so thankful that i hadn't got rid of it i think it's safe to get rid of it now but i'm not going to just yet not until this is complete and working so the next thing which i know is relatively easy although i'm going to put the screws in at the bottom is to put the condenser on now the condenser just sits within these tabs doesn't screw on at all so that's quite easy and then of course you do your connections up so that's that's pretty easy nightmare absolute nightmare the problem is because i've never done one of these before what i should have done is taken loads and loads of pictures as, as i as i took it apart and, I, and i'm stupid i don't know why i didn't but I've, i also found in the boot these and i'm not sure what they're for I obviously took them off somewhere, but I haven't got a clue. They've got no part number on them either. I've got a sneaking suspicion there's something to do with this, but I haven't got a clue what these are for or where they've come from. Not a clue. So if anyone can tell me, <laughs> please do. I mean, I might, if I look back at my old videos, I might be able to figure it out, but yeah, there's no part number on it at all. It's a little bit, I don't know, I mean, maybe it's meant to be bent. I don't know. I don't know. So I've got two of them and I think, I'm not sure whether they, I'm not sure what these are for either. <laughs> oh yes I do, I know what they're for. Oh I know what they're for. They're the brackets that go on the bottom of the of the bar. They go under here. That's what they're for. Yeah, and those are the bolts that go through it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. There's all of those screws in there are all the screws that I took off of that fan assembly. There might still be some clips and what have you that are still on. And they're all in a bin liner, which is up the back of the garage. Again, not throwing any of that plastic away. This thing, I still haven't bought one of these because we've got some mounting points on it and they're really expensive and I'm going to see if I can make do with this one until I can get one for a decent price. So if there's any mounting point like there and one there that are broken, I might be able to just glue them back together for the time being. <sighs> We're getting there. We are getting there. Now, I, was, I wanted to fill up the uh, coolant system, but I, on, the, um, on, the, on the coolant I've got, which I bought the green coolant, it wherever it's gone it's there somewhere uh it oh no it's in the boot of the car it doesn't say on the tin on the cans on the bottles what the ratio of because it's it's uh it's got to be uh what's the word diluted it's concentrated so it's got to be diluted with uh with water now it's the, i'm sure the bloke at bmw told me you can just use ordinary water uh but i've googled it and everyone i'm seeing is saying use distilled water or ideally deionized water. So I'm not going to take a chance. I, I've got to go down to Halfords tomorrow anyway, so I'm going to go down there and buy a couple of litre bottles of, um, if they've got deionized, I'll buy it, but one or the other. Uh, and then I'll mix that up in another container and then um, put it in. I want to do it as it should be. So as I say, it might be the case that you can, but I'm not going to take that chance. I'm just going to do it and fill it. I've got two bottles, let me show you actually. Because um, I have got other stuff as well that I bought that I'm not sure I've shown you. There's the new headlight. I shouldn't have that like that because if that fell out, 
that was 390 pounds. I've got to take the ECUs off the old one and hope and pray that they're okay. Um, I've got, I've got these. Unfortunately, no bolts, so hopefully they're just a generic bolt. I've got that bit that goes on the bumper. Um, yeah, yeah, I've got everything. I have actually got everything now. Yeah. <laughs> scary, scary, scary. It's easier breaking things apart than it is putting them back together, isn't it? We know that. Well, us blokes all know that, because, you know, through our childhood we took stuff apart and then we could never get it back together again, didn't we? Well... I say we, I certainly did. <laughs> I'm sure you did too. So, okay, let's, let's continue. So I'm gonna get the, I'm, I'm not gonna film everything because it's just taken me too long figuring it out. But I'm gonna get the condenser on, off, on, out the box and get that on as well now. I feel like I'm making progress at long last. Actually, I'm gonna get those screws on first because it might be easier to get those in before I'm trying to remember what I used. I think I used one of those little right angle things and it was a bit of a job and off. But I think I used one of those little right angled spanner things. I did drop one of those on the floor the other day. This, here it is, no, see it? One of these, it's one of these that I used, which took ages doing it up, but there was no other way of getting to it. If that bottom bar wasn't on, you could get to it, but I'm not taking that off to do it. So it might take a little bit of time. So I'll get the condenser on and then we'll come back. All right, making great progress now. Condensers on all buttoned up. I managed to identify by pure fluke which were the, uh, which were the bolts for it. Um, the condenser came with that. I'm not sure if there's another one in there as well. Don't think there is, came with that. Any ideas? I think when I got uh, the radiator that I bought, which was the Nissan radiator, which was the wrong one, that came with a couple of things like that as well. I don't know what they're for. There's nowhere for them to go. Any ideas, anyone? I'll keep it, I won't throw it away, but they're nothing to do with the, because these things were were in the holes. Of course, I took one out and it hissed because it's obviously a vacuum, so. Yeah, don't know. I've got no idea what those are. If any of you have got any ideas, please let me know. But that's all screwed up now, so um, we can have a nice expensive um, a nice expensive refill of gas but that's the least of my worries at the moment it'll probably be bloody winter by the time I get this finished so let's, let's just go through quickly what we've got to do on this because there's still quite a bit I suppose but I do have all the parts now so we've got existing fan which is okay new radiator new condenser We've got the fan assembly that goes on the front. I have no idea how it fits. Uh, we've got the V-bar, bought a new one of those. So that goes, I think that goes on last, um, I think. Yeah, because that goes in front of the fan assembly, doesn't it? So the fan goes on next. And I, I've got no idea how it fits. Uh, I'm assuming it possibly fits over these. I've got to do these up tight. I didn't do these up tight, these things but I'm assuming it, it probably fits over there. And when the bumper goes on, the bumper fits to that. So whether there were, there's no screw holes in the top of this as such. I don't know if it's, obviously this all has to go back together with the top piece, but yeah, I don't know. I can't look at the, uh, the footage from when I got the car because that was obliterated. So all that top bit was all smashed to smithereens and wasn't connected. So, I mean, it might be obvious. If not, I'll have to try and look at some photographs from somewhere. Um, so yeah, so we've got to try and fit, figure out how that fits in. Whether it fits to the crossbar or not. I mean, I'm assuming the crossbar is probably one of the last things that goes in. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I, I'm sort of thinking that we need to put that back in now. Because if I put that in, then the bar, the, the fan assembly probably connects to that in some way. I need to look at the front of a car and try and figure it out. You know, if there's a car that's breaking on eBay or something like that, and I can try and figure out how. Because I know, I know the bumper connects to it using a couple of brackets. 
I need to get it insured really. But I, I wanted to swap the insurance over from my 500X, which of course I'm still using until this is fixed. So once we've got all this fan assembly done, which I, will, I am going to try and do tomorrow, um, once we've got all that done, I've still got to take bits off of the, the old bumper and put them on the new bumper, sort the headlights out, get all those in, make sure everything that I need on the bumper is on it, get me distilled water, fill up the radiator, start it, check for leaks, please God don't let there be any leaks. Um, I'm going to do that I think before I get the fan assembly on. I want to get that fan assembly out and have a look at it actually, but I'll leave it to the morning. Uh, there's also a, a duct that goes, so no, no, I can't remember which one it was. So on the diagram, there was a duct this side and a duct that side. One was bigger than the other and I can't remember which one's which. But that LL, LL parts or LLL parts, whatever they are, took forever to send those bloody things. Don't buy anything from LL parts if you're in a rush. It took two and a half weeks. It was, a, it was seven days before they dispatched it on a three to five day courier. It turned up with DPD after over over a week later ridiculous amount of time so yeah that's what that's what's delayed me on this that fan assembly oh, obviously i was waiting for the radiator coming from germany but lll parts are in the uk and it's just taken forever so yeah not happy with them at all they're not going to be getting good feedback from me i'm afraid on on uh, ebay but i want to make sure that i've got the right part first before i start slagging them off but yeah not good and, and a lot of people you a lot of pe a lot of you um recommended them and yes, they had the part, they were the only ones, it seems, apart from going to BMW, and I don't know what the price difference would have been. I'm scared to look. But that was like 440 pounds, something like that, that fan assembly, and another 80 odd pound for that side bit. They did tell me that the other side bit I don't need, it's not on my car. So that saved me some money, but um, I'm not quite sure where it goes. But of course that was a part of the obliterated bit. But we are getting there. We are now getting there. Now we've got that front bit on. Um, I can't get those screws in underneath that radiator. I, I think I'm going to have to leave them out. But if I mean, if you that that is solid as a rock, that ain't going anywhere. So as much as I want to try and get them in, I will have another go. But pff, I can't get them in. It's as if I don't know if the plastic is like self-tapping or something. But. It just won't go in because you're doing it upside down and you're trying to just start it off with your fingers and then have to use one of those little angled things because you've got no you've got no way of getting to them but yeah nuisance um i will i'll say i will have another go but it ain't going to move anywhere that's for sure but i'm so desperate to get this filled with coolant tomorrow and start the engine and hopefully there'll be no leaks and we can move it and give, give the thing a clean i am so desperate to clean it I just realised these are nuts on here, so it's, that makes life a lot easier because I've, I've probably got nuts that will fit this. I don't know why they couldn't have included them. It cost me enough. <laughs> I think they might have stuck the nuts in with it as well. But, um, yeah. I'm not putting those on I, when I take it to the body shop. Because if you shut the... I won't shut the bonnet now because I've got tools in that. But if you shut the bonnet, it's a little bit out. So the, And there, I'm pretty sure there is a ripple in that bonnet. Um, so once I've got it all on, all going, all the lights are in, the bumper on, all straight, the only thing left will be the bonnet. I will stick the bonnet down with tape and I will take it to the body shop and leave it there and say, can you repair that damage on the bonnet, get that ripple out of the bonnet and adjust the gap. And then when I come pick it up, that should be it, it should be finished then. So, sorry, I'm shouting, sorry. <laughs> It's the end of the day. I have been out here. I've been working on uh, a different car today um, because I don't know the order of the, the videos. This is uh, I've been working on a new car, so I won't give away what it is just in case this video comes out before that one. Um, but yeah, so I've been out here since early this morning. I did watch the football, the semi-final where England won 3-1, beating Australia. Uh, and then I've been on this probably the last couple of hours. So we've still got a fair way to go. But we are re I am. I really feel like I'm making progress now. Now I've got those front bits in. I, I wished. I wished I had some distilled water. I'm not taking the chance of using ordinary tap water because we are also quite hard. We have got quite hard water here as well. So I don't want to take the chance. What's the for the sake of another day and a, and a few quid, whatever a couple of liters of uh, distilled water or deionized water costs. Um, I'd rather just um, wait. So I will see you tomorrow. 
uh, well, I think the first thing you're probably going to see is me filling this thing up and hoping it don't leak. <laughs> I mean, the only places that, the, as I say, the only thing that worried me was when I took this all apart and the radiator was obviously had a big hole in it or, you know, it was crushed, there was no staining of coolant. So it just made me think, is there a leak somewhere else and all the coolant had come out from somewhere else rather than the radiator? Let's hope not. I don't really, I mean, the Fiat 500 has these, um, but these, uh, this, has got, um, this has got two connections, both the same, those push-on ones with a little clip that holds it in. They are the two connections. Now, there's, no, there's nothing that makes me think they are going to leak, and they don't leak on the Fiat 500s, so hopefully that will be the same. But I do prefer a normal hose with a circle clip on it, I have to say. But yeah, come tomorrow, cometh the, cometh the man, I don't know what I'm talking about now, I'm getting delirious. I think I need a beer, it's been hot today. Right, I will uh, stop waffling and I will see you sometime tomorrow morning. Until then, ta-ta, beer time. Okay, welcome back next day. Been down to Halfords um, and I bought myself one of these. This, thought this was quite cool. As soon as I've got to mix it up as well. Five litre, uh, easy to fill up. I don't, I don't even know how much it was. I didn't even look at the price. So I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to get one of them. Um, got me official BMW green coolant. And I've got, they only had small bottles. So I've got uh, two one litre bottles. Hopefully that's good. So these are a litre and a half. Maybe I should have bought three of those. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. If not, I'll have to get another one to top it up. But uh, so it's supposed to be 50-50, so I suppose that's three litres, that's not enough, is it? Uh, so it's three litres, and then another, so it's four and a half litres. Three litres, four litres, hang on. Should be, if I put three litres in, it should be six litres. I don't need six litres. So if I put, if I put two litres in, and then two of those, that might be enough. So we'll do it up to four, up to four litres, yeah, yeah. That never was my strong point. Um, yeah, so let's do that and then we can uh, start it. So I am going to set you up. Uh, or should I put that on first? I think, I don't know. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this piece back on first uh, and then we'll do that because it's going to rattle around otherwise when it starts. So yeah, I'll just get that on and then I'll come straight back. We'll fill it up and we will start it and hope for the best. Let's do it. Right, so I'm not sure whether my battery ran out and it said that the data was damaged, so I'm not sure whether it recorded that. Uh, well, I've just mixed up the uh, coolant, so I am going to now use my new super duper little device. And fill it up. Let's go. I suppose actually, you know what I should do? Whoa, give it a shake built some now so it's going to probably take most of it and no doubt I will have to top it up I'm just trying to see where the minimum and maximum is of course we have to hope it's not going to leak got some bubbling there's going to be loads of air in it as it was completely empty um, Trying to see where minimum, can't see a minimum and maximum mark on it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, it's quite a lot in there. So it was about four and a half, so I've only put, yeah, so I've only put about a litre, a litre and a half in there. Okay, so that's obviously going to go down, or well, we hope it's going to go down when I start her up. So I just want to make sure there's no spanners or anything around. Oh. I still don't, th hmm, I don't know. Right. I think I did drop a bolt under here, but it would have gone down onto the under tray. I heard it hit the under tray. Okay, so, momentous time to get it started. Right, let's do it. Nervous moment. I think I'll let the, um, I don't know, the pump probably won't, I don't, the pump's not gonna start until the engine starts anyway, but, uh, We just don't want a leak. Don't want any leaks. 
But gotta do it, let's do it. Nervous moment. Let me shut the boot. All right, here we go. Ooh, get in. Auto PDC failure, we know that. Lighting system, yeah, we know that. Okay, let's have a look. I guess there's so much air in it, isn't there? It's gone down a bit. It's got to work its way around, of course, isn't it? I'm going to top it up a little bit more. I don't know where the bleed valves is. Bleed valves are on this, that's the trouble. I filled that up pretty much to the top. I think I'm going to put the, the cap on actually. Let it build up some pressure. And if that's a bleed valve. Don't know. Right. I am unfortunately losing loads of fluid, as you can see. I think, I think it's coming from there. It's, where's my torch gone? I've lost my torch. It's, it's dripping, it's dripping down from the top here somewhere. See that? Get that pipe out of the way, it's not in focus. See that where that silver ring is there, what you can see on the camera, it's out of focus, but, oh, there we go. I think it's coming from that. Now, if you look just in, let me get a screwdriver and point to it, bear with me a second. Right, get it in focus again. Right, you see that there, that's at a bit of an angle, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be, because that sort of would have been where it got pushed back onto, and I'm not sure whether that there is broken, but, I think that might, it might be that, but I can see that it's dripping from the back there, so I'm not quite sure what that is, but I think, it's, I can see it's screwed on, but that, yeah, that's damaged, I think, well, that's where it's leaking from, so I'm assuming that bit's damaged. Yeah, the more I look at it, I've just, I've just written down the number on the bit that's above it, um, which looks like one of those push on with the, um, you know, the little clip that it looks on one of those, but then there's a pipe that pushes. So that one I showed you, that looked as if it was an angle. Um, I haven't got access to, to the website for the parts. Um, forgotten the name of the website now, but um, I, I searched for that number and it's not coming up at all. I've just searched for pipes and I've looked at a few on eBay and, I, and I'm, I'm just not sure. Cause you, can't, you just can't get in there and see it properly. So I think the best way for me to get to it is take off all this what I put on yesterday. So I'm thinking I'm going to take the top back off. I, what I'll try and do is I'll see if I can pull it sort of out of the way enough to get those um, connections undone um, and then get it off and see if I can find a part number of it. Um, I don't know if it's broken, I don't know if it's that end bit until I can get to it and, and get it off. I just can't see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna if if I can't if I can't take it off without dry, so obviously I don't want to lose all my coolant if I can help it. I mean I know I've still got a fair bit, but not enough. I'll end, I'll end up having to buy some more um, because the trouble is with this is of course it's trial and error. Um, the the tank is actually empty now, but I'd been sitting in it accelerating to push the push the water around, um, and that's obviously uh, sitting in the car for five minutes doing that, uh, and of course it's been pouring out of that pipe. So that's, that's presumably why the system was completely empty. So I did have my suspicions that it, there might be a leak somewhere else. And I suppose in theory, I could have put water in it first to try it. 
wish I had now, <laughs> instead of wasting money. So I think I'm, seeing as I've moved it up here now, I'm going to give it a wash uh, and then I'll put it back in position. I'm going to start it up now and confirm where that's coming from, if I can. Um, and then I'll give it a wash, put it back in, into position and then we will look about getting that part and see if we can get that. But it just means I've got to take everything off. It might, it might be as well just to take the entire lot off because I can probably get to it then. I'm, and if it's only leaking from that one place, then it's, it's potentially not an issue. But I've lost, I've lost a fair bit of coolant. Obviously, you, when you stop the engine and remove the cap, it releases the pressure so it stops spurting out. But as soon as I start the engine again, it's probably once it builds up a little bit of pressure in a minute or two, it's probably going to... Um, going to do it again so I want it to do it because I want to see because I think it's I think it's squirting upwards a little bit I think I'm not sure so what I'll do is I'll get the camera in there if I can see with the light once it started doing it and I'll show you um, annoying not unexpected I suppose did 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 think it might be like that but annoying all the same just undoes everything I did on the car yesterday um, I've, lo I've lost coolant and I'm just backwards backward steps now but you know these things happen anyway i'll um i'll see if i can find out where it's coming from properly for definite and then i'll come back and show you right. as soon as i've done it i've seen straight away where it's coming from so i've tried to shine the torch down there if i can and see if i can get it in focus see that look oh you're not focusing i've just <laughs> oh, i didn't spot that before right let me let me see if i can i've got to focus this because i've got to show you this so let me get it in focus right we're in focus now watch the pipe that i was pointing to it's actually snapped off. <laughs> so it is that whole bit of plastic bit which then screws to there. So I, put, I can actually, potentially, I could do that without, because the pipes are right, it's that, it's that knuckle. Now whether I can get that off of there, if I, can, if I can pull that up out of the way and bring it up the top, which I might be able to do just by taking this bit off, I don't think I need to I don't know how I didn't spot that. So it's come that whatever that is, whatever that port is, so that's screwed onto there, that's where it's coming from. So if I can get that off. So there's a big hole there, and, that, and, it, and it's just pouring out that hole. Now that's, I don't know why I didn't spot that. I'll have to look back at previous videos and see if you can see it. Because of course all that was open to the world and I inspected it all. Didn't notice that that was actually broken. And that's obviously where the fan's gone back and hit it. So that is how it's lost all its coolant. I told you I was suspicious about why the coolant had gone. That's the reason. Right, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just about to, I was just about to wash it and I thought I'd get this thing out the box and have a look at it and see it. I, I've got no, <laughs> I'm not sure which side's the front. I think that's the front. I'm not sure if I got it out the right, <laughs> the right way or what. See, I think I have, because I think that's where it screws, I think that's where the, the, uh, the bumper screws in. But how the hell, <laughs> How the hell it goes on here, I don't know. God knows. I'm hoping that those haven't got to come off because it's quite tight on there. I can't, I don't know. Now that might go in there. And the one on the other side. Yeah, that might do. I think what I'm gonna, I won't put that other headlight on for now because I think I might potentially have to take that headlight out. I nearly saw. I haven't got a clue. Uh, 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 that is assuming I've got it the right way around. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look at a picture. Hopefully a picture might show me the right, <laughs> the right way. Oh, it's not, I know I'm not putting it on at the moment anyway, but I just, <laughs> I just wanted to offer it up and have a look. Oh God, the, you know, I can't blame myself for not taking any notice of how the other one was in because the other one was obliterated, wasn't it? Smashed the smithereens. But uh, I'm sure all will be, once I come to do it, I'm sure it will, all, uh, it will all be as clear as mud. I've got that other bit as well, which I won't bother showing you at the moment, but it, go, it does go this side. Where it goes, I ain't got a clue. <laughs> not a clue. <laughs> Oh my, I'm glad I didn't put this on now and I've got that leak, but I wouldn't have done because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have a leak first. Oh yeah, by, by, uh, someone did mention about um, 
minor, minor damage because the, the uh, washer bottle was full. It wasn't completely full, I did top it up, but yes, it was, what did I? I can't remember, actually, no, I don't think I did actually, and no, I think it was full. <sighs> yeah, because I had to move it out of the way, and Un bolt it, move it out of the way, it was quite heavy when it was full up. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I'm fed up with this now. I just want to get this done. So let's assume this is the right way around. Where did I go? I don't know. I don't know. I might have it upside down. <laughs> Once I look at a picture, hopefully that will make it all become clear. Yeah, anyway. I'm going, to call, I'm going to quickly wash it, get it down the drive, and then I'm going to take that top piece off and get that, see if I can get that pipe disconnected without removing everything else. And then hopefully um, I can just get a new one of those, put it on, put that top bit back on again. In fact, I won't do that. I'll wait until I've, um, if I can, I'll wait until I know there's no leak. Oh my God, what a nightmare. Okay, I'll be back. Right, so I took the top off uh, and I managed to unscrew the bit, which has fallen down and I can't actually see it. Um, so I was looking at the, the, the number on there, which is 7627135. I've Googled that, or put that part into eBay, and it's not come back with any results. Now, I've just noticed uh, that there was one of those little clips. One of those little clips in it. So what that actually means is that the bit that's broken was an insert. So this piece is actually okay, which is quite good, actually. I just need to get that piece. So that's where it's broken. It's that piece that's broken. So we're all right down there. The, that bit's off, but it's just that that's broken. So I just need to, I've been trying to get it out with a screwdriver, it's coming, but I think I need to get some thin nose pliers on it to try and encourage it out a little bit more. So that's the only bit. The only problem is, of course, I won't, unless that's got a, a part number on that bit, I need to try and locate the other bit that's fallen down somewhere. It may have just gone into the under tray, I'm not sure, but um, I'm sure looking at the, uh, the parts catalog, I should be able to figure out what bit it is, hopefully. But it's funny how that bit's not coming back as a, as a result, I haven't Googled it, but certainly I'm not on eBay anyway. Right, let's, uh, I mean, it's, that's going to be pennies, isn't it? Well, no, it's BMW, it'll probably be 20 quid, but at least it's, I can't believe I didn't see that. How the hell did I not notice that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, let's see if I can get it out with a pair of long nose pliers, and then we can try and get the part ordered. Okay, I've, I've been to the BMW dealers, I took some photos, and he tells me that that is the thermostat. I'm trying to get it in focus. There, here we go. So you can see at the top of the picture there, there's a pipe that comes off the top and then there's the other one, the one that's broken, which comes out at 90 degrees and there is electrical connection just to the left of it. Now he, he tells me that he reckons that's the thermostat, but I've got a feeling that's the thermostat there. Oh, but I don't know if that's part of it. And I've, I've, I've tried to look at pictures uh, and they're, all, they're 220 pounds from uh, BMW. We can get an aftermarket one for 60, which I'm happy to buy an aftermarket one. Um, but I'm not convinced that that's the bit I need. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research and I'm gonna have to take all of this off again so I can get to it. Um, the bit that I lost, which I was hoping had a part number on, but according to, I mean, he showed me the diagrams on the computer and to be fair, you couldn't see an extra piece on there. So maybe that does all come as part of the thermostat. Um, although it looks like it's just a push-in thing. But I don't know. I don't want to go ordering a 60 pound thermostat, let alone a 220 pound thermostat if it's not the thermostat. I, I think, I'd not see this is on the sort of on the side of it, this thing here. But I sort of think this is the thermostat. I don't know. I really don't know. I, took, I say the pictures I could. Sh I showed him. I said, right, it's immediately above the oil cooler. And the, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's starting to pee me off now a little bit. It's not the cost. It's just the hassle. I put all of this on. Now I've got to take the bloody lot off again, just to get to it. But I, I think I'm going to have to take all that bit off, whatever that is, and then try and identify what it is from there. I don't want to go wasting money buying bits that I can't use. I think what we'll do is, if I if I take these out and disconnect that, I can just lift that entire section out, can't I? I don't need to take each individual bit off. I can just lift the entire thing out. 
I think that's the best way. And at least then I'll be able to actually see what I'm doing. Oh, so I think this video is getting a bit long now, I think. So I think we're going to end it here. Um, and I'm going to come back next week. Uh, and hopefully we can get this sorted out once and for all. So yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a nuisance this, to say the least. But it can't be helped. Um, I, how I didn't spot that to begin with, I really don't know. I mean, the pipe was just lying there flapping around, which does explain why there was no st water staining on the radiator. So although the radiator, the radiator might not necessarily have burst, but it was like bent in half with dents in it. So, but that's obviously failed and water has gone everywhere. So as I say, I'll take this front off now. We'll get, we'll have a good look at it on the next video and we'll see if we can figure out exactly what it is and get the part ordered. I don't mind buying the original one, but if I can get the same thing for 70 quid, I'll buy the same thing for 70 quid. It's a no-brainer really, isn't it? So, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. It's getting a bit frustrating this, but hopefully it's not as frustrating for you as it is for me. Uh, it's all a learning curve, as we know, but um, we're getting there. We are, we are still getting there, even though I've got to go backwards now and take all this bit off, but we are getting there. Uh, we've, we've looked at the, um, the fan system. Um, that should be fun when we come to doing that. But anyway... Thanks for watching, as I say. If you're not a subscriber, as I always say, I should say, don't forget, click on the button, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and until the next one, uh, hopefully, we'll be, by the end of the next video, we'll be ready for the body shop, hopefully. Until then, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and we will see you very soon.